Okay, this is the entrance or dry bar, if you will, for the um, patio area. We're up here, this is our mechanical closet. We're on the top floor. We've got uh, part of our fire suppression system is up here, and even a smoke alarm is up here. Not a carbon monoxide alarm, though. Um, but um, not a carbon monoxide alarm and no air conditioning duct because this is just kind of a utilitarian place and the air duct is not required running some low voltage wires out of here going to lord knows what get our lights come on coming out here we've already had now i mentioned this on the front door that this door casement's not supposed to come down and touch your threshold we've already had repairs here and uh, what did they do? They went right back. Okay, this was rotten because it's in contact with the side. And um, so what we're going to do is we're going to put some new wood in here. And uh, we're going to go right back like we would so this new wood can rot like the old wood. We can see that our um, bottom uh, rail of our door right there. Is... We're going to get in here and take a picture. If I can stay out of the sun. Or create my own son. Okay. So then we come on up here for the patio experience. There's our lighting. There's our GFCI at this trip. Let there be lights. Now all our party lights came on. I get it, we're having an urban party out here, rooftop party, downtown scenery. Okay. So we got water up here. Yes, we do. Any stowaways up here? We'll never know. Okay. So this is a wood decking. My client was concerned about the wood decking over the roof covering material. But this is the same roof covering material that's up there, and it's a it's a vinyl sheet. It's very durable. It's supposed to be 50 years or whatever. More durable than the wood. It's right out, right outside the door, right here. Just step on, step on that. So the the wood splintery, not holding up that well. Got this corner is kind of rough. Okay, and some of it we can't see because we got the astroturf. Now the astroturf holding the water next to this roof decking and not letting it breathe is not going to let it age very well. Just saying. Look at that. Okay, I wonder what the rest of it looks like. Looks like something. Looks like something, I'm sure. Come over here. This looks like a good spot. Let's try this spot over here. Not so bad, but you can see how it's holding water. If it's holding water, it is going to rot. Ah, just keep on going, bud. Again, not so bad, but starting. That board's awful loose. I had some pretty good luck down here on this end. I mean, I get it. Now, you're up here. We're having our urban rooftop party. Everybody's having a good time. Everybody's starting a fire underneath these lights. One, you're not supposed to use extension cords and permitted applications. Number two, you shouldn't use... I mean, I get it novelty lights and permanent applications three the novelty lights used in a permanent application should be at least 10 feet so that your guest can't sit here and change light bulbs and stuff for you while you're burning your fire and roasting everything four to get these party lights where we want them we've been sticking holes in our walls these are wood walls sticking holes in our walls. Three, our rocking outdoor speakers are not sealed where they're attached to the wall. Got a little bit of wood damage starting underneath this corner and if you looked at the roof video you see that this gutter, rain gutter, is full of water 
so we got a water issue where it's continuously staying wet not drying out like it should and um, so we got a problem uh, in the process of developing again stuck to the walls and proper use of extension cords